Made it to the weekend. Adventurers on the rise. Solving riddles and casting mess. Sewing daggers at their eyes. If you're into fortune and glory, until the heart and soul. Finding clues, knocking out some fools, depending on how they roll. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Twitch.tv TV slash Vince Patel. I'm your man, Vince Patel, and we are here with the Ethnic Squares to play some D and D. Hi, Ethnic Squares. <laughs> Up first, we have our Elven Bloodhunter, Badra, bought Reaver by name, Badass by Nature, the Keeper of Coin, the Flusher of Fools, It's our Lanyard Lawyer, the Hitman with a Fabulous Head of Hair, the Monster Hunter, ready to make an impact outside of Genshin 2, It's Rahula Hoops! That's me! Hey. What's up, Doggy Dog? How are we doing, man? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm we glad we've got some more D&D &D today, this week. That's it. After a week off, we, we get the itches. <laughs> we need some D&D. &D. Oh, yeah, I had all the draw dice. symptoms, man. I was like, oh, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to base my Sunday around? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's my pleasure to introduce our resident rogue, Iron of Raven Oak. It seems like someone's about to lose an eyeball or several today. The best brewer in this or any land, a shop with the wit as they are with their daggers. It's Flora Jesse. It's me. Hey, what hello, up, hello. lads? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta keep consistent, you know. <laughs> this is it. Doing double duty today, playing the role of Pavato as well. Yeah, I sure Doing am. All a solid. <laughs> uh, the best part of the business will be joining us shortly. So why don't we move on to the Tabaxia Monk, looking to punch, punch, punch their way out of trouble. Let's hope their coin falls in your favour, or be prepared to feel their wrath. Bring a sprinkler, stardust, a lover coins. It's my pleasure. It's my favourite part of Wales. It's the amazing <laughs> Nafalus. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Howdy, howdy! Hey, friend. How are you? Hey, I'm good. I'm excited to christen your new abode with some TNT. That's it, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we want ourselves a new, slightly messier background as a, as, a, as a temporary solution, but yes, thank you so much. And thank you for the sub, Aztis. Very, very kind of you, and appreciate Craig and all the, all the help that you're going to do today. Hopefully we won't need you too much, but yeah, I really appreciate you being here. Uh, and to round off our band of heroes, it's time to cast Rage with the Barbarian Total Boris. Grab your great sword and let's get reckless. <coughs> with more than enough brains to match their brawn from guys, gals, and non-binary pals, give it up for the marvellous Katie G. Woo! How are we doing? Yo. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Good stuff. Are we all ready to D and D? Let's oh, yeah. go then. So Hell if I yeah. click this button, then we'll start as we always do with uh, previously on Dungeons and Dragons. So, our heroes took to the third hall of the Athenaeum and opted to take a short rest to recover their strength. An hour later, the party ventured into the next chamber, which featured a large, ornate mirror. The ethnic squares noticed that letters of warning in common appeared on the mirror, and that the opposite nature affected the object reflected. Lanterns that were lit in the chamber appeared extinguished. There were two paths available to the party, one heading east and another heading west. Interpreting the warning incorrectly, the party headed east and triggered the trap. <laughs> But there was some experience oh, gained and some best this time. I remember it as that we decided that we needed the extra experience and that we needed <laughs> that the extra exactly encounter. It. That's what it was. <laughs> Jesse, thank you so much for the resub. <laughs> Appreciate you. You're welcome. We've also got a level one hype train. Oh, Choo -choo! Let's go. <laughs> So, a pair of basilisks were waiting for the party and battle commenced. As the blows were exchanged, one of the basilisks cast petrifying gaze that cut the Tabexian monk, turning them into stone. The party fought valiantly, taking down the beast, and the sky was on hand with a restoration spell to cure cut of the basilisk gaze. Bro, hula hoops with the sun coming in! <laughs> choo choo! Returned to the chamber with the ornate mirror, they proceeded west, which led to a near identical chamber, complete with another mirror. Uh, there was a different message on this mirror. However, there are no exits <laughs> in the room inside. 
the mirror read all those letters here. <laughs> Neo soon recognized the script as the work of the famous bard to work for the Vasily. And with the lyrics said, a Nixit materialized and the party continued onwards. That's right, my <laughs> people. Last time there was a little bit of a rickroll here in DT. <laughs> a pair of chain basilisks held by two class cutthroats awaited them. The battle commenced once more, and Neo cast Storm Sphere, which engulfed all of the foes. Mindful to cover their eyes from the gaze of the basilisk, the ethnic squares fought bravely and emerged victorious. That was a fun old time last week, or two weeks ago, wasn't it? Oh yeah, we got all the, the basilisk fangs, so that's good. Absolutely. We can destroy any horcruxes we come across. Well, this is it. Will you uh... need them? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> so we continue with episode 11, the fourth hall of the Athenaeum. You've been waking your way through the halls of the Athenaeum. As you haven't seen the exterior of the structure, you can't gauge how much further the Athenaeum goes on for. However, your resolve remains the same as you head down the open hallway <laughs> in high spirits. Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> when we get there, when we get <laughs> there, Neo says. <laughs> oh, I want to be there, I'm tired. <laughs> the next door you come across is guarded with another riddle from the Knowing Mistress. Above the door are the words in common. I am at the beginning of the end and the end of before. What am I? The letter E. The, <laughs> the doors Ouch. fly open and you continue through to the fourth hall of the afternoon. <laughs> Nailed it. Fadra's on fire today. Let's go. So <laughs> You're no know, messing around. He learned his lesson. <laughs> Well I feel done. like with riddles, I either just get them instantly, or I just have nothing. I, I'll, I'll contribute nothing to solving them. <laughs> All good. Uh, let's just fix that. Uh, that is all good. So, uh, the next room was designed to look like the jungle of Marquette. New and Badra, you recall the stories that Mavis told while making camp in your early adventurer days of the heat and humidity she experiences. Among the large tree trunks of vine, bamboos, and shrubbery, there is a painting in a wooden frame on the left-hand side of the room. At the end of the room is an ornate carved wooden door with a circle indentation that you've become familiar with. Uh, ethnic squares, uh, what would you like to do? Ooh. Should we like, check all the other coins we've got first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think just to like double check that they really don't fit. Uh-huh. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, so between like Nuo and Pavato, they have a, a fiddle around with the various coins and the doors, and yeah, none of them are, are an exact fit. <clears throat> My question is why? Why would Mavis have been brought up again? You know, <laughs> like that—that that feels very odd, and and therefore there must be something in that. I mean, <laughs> what stories did Mavis tell us about the early days? I mean, given this party representation for backstory and their appreciation of them, probably not much. <laughs> hmm. You're like, who's Mavis? <laughs> there was a Mavis? I'm sure Mavis, Mavis. Who's? Mavis yeah, is exactly. dead. Um, well, love you, buddy. <laughs> um, I mean, given that there's a painting with a wooden frame, I'm going to guess that we're probably going to be trying to jump through that frame. <laughs> Woohoo! I think so. Is there anything you need to prepare first? Um, or you'd like to prepare rather, by the need. I will cast Crimson Rite on my glaive. Okay, good to know. But otherwise, yeah, we're good. Let's jump into the painting, guys. Let's go for it. Everybody ready? Yep. Good stuff. So, <laughs> I just imagine like, Badra runs at the painting and then just like smacks his face. Massive troll. So you leap platform nine and three quarters is closed. <laughs> <laughs> you leap into the painting, determined to retrieve the gold coin and secure the holy symbol of Ayun. Looking around at your new surroundings, you find yourself in a lush jungle lagoon. Also a very fun word to say, lagoon. Uh, the hot breeze carries a sense of danger and words of warning. So you hear ring out, You know where you are? You're in the jungle, baby! You're gonna die! So Jesus with these words ringing in your ears, I need you to roll initiative for it is go time. Oh We're in the God. jungle. <laughs> That's what we <laughs> hear on the games. wind. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. It's just straight into it. <laughs> Not even spending like half an hour on a riddle first. <laughs> this is it. I was promised 40 minutes of riddles. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're so what we have we have the seven of you surrounded by a class enforcer and three ogres. 
So we'll give everybody a second oh, for to. For fuck's sake, roll. Favato. <laughs> 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 so, anybody in the 25 to 20 range? Uh, okay, I will roll for Sky as we're waiting for her. But she rolled a natural two, so that's got to be a no. Oh, Anybody in 20 oh. to 15? Uh, Neo got 15. Nobody else did. <laughs> oh, man. That's fine. Uh, 15 to 10, anybody? Ayana got 13. Yep. I got okay. 14. Good to know. And Kat's got 12. Cool. And cut with 12. And then the class being forced, they got themselves a 10. Uh, 10 to 5? Uh, Pavato got 5. Okay, good to know. So Boris with 8, uh, Pavato with 5, and then uh, then 5 to 1. So all three of the ogres and uh, Sky's in there too. Uh, so it would go. Ogre 1, uh, Ogre 2, Sky, and Ogre 3. So there were 4, 3, 2, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've got everybody. Uh, cool beans. Uh, so top of the round, it is Neo to go first. So bringing up her character sheet, uh, they are going to use... What are they going to do? They are going to use their third level, their final third level spell slot to cast magic missile at. Uh, would you think? <laughs> uh, would you think they would attack one of the ogres or the class enforcer? Maybe enforcer. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's go with the enforcer. Good. Maybe if we take no. him down, all the ogres will run away. You know. <laughs> uh, that is. Uh, so what would that be? That would be three, nine, three, that was nine points of damage on that one. Actually, no, sorry, it's 12. I, I was uh, discounting that. So 12 points of damage on that. So I will mark that. They are probably going to stay where they are. Uh, and that is going to be their turn. So Badra, it is now on you. What would you like to do? All right, so <clears throat> I've already put my Crimson Rite on my Glaive. So, you have. what I will do with my bonus action instead is um, I will use my Blood Curse of the Marked. So that allows me Ooh. to mark any creature in front of me for the within thirty feet, and then okay, so until the end of, until the end of your turn. And then whenever I yep. deal any right damage to it, I get to roll a second dice for extra damage. Sure. So that is on Ogre One. So if you make a note of that. Yeah, uh, you can keep track of uh, any extra thingy you've done, and then yeah, with I mean, it's, it's only attacks? for one. It's only for one turn. Um, okay, fine. Yeah. So, so use your bonus action to cast uh, the blood curse on the first of, of the ogres, and then what are you doing with your glaive? Um, I thought I'd just stand around and do nothing. Now I'm going to attack. I mean, it's obviously. a good strategy. <laughs> 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 uh, let's roll. Oh, that's off the table. That's also off the table. Jesus. Okay. All right, we got uh, eight plus seven, so fifteen to hit. That hits. Well done. Nice. Okay, so that's the D ten that I need. That's an eight. That's the D. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that is seven plus three is ten, and then the right damage. Plus four is fourteen, and then I get to roll the right damage again. Sure. And I got two, so sixteen damage. Oh damn! That's for the first attack. Okay. That's for the first attack. And then. All right. Let's Swing again. again. A natural twenty. Yeah. Awesome. Bow, 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 bow. There you go. You can. You can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I haven't rolled one in so long. <laughs> the RGB though on the keyboard. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, wait, where's my dice? Oh no, where's my? Where did I? Oh, no, dice can roll no damage. <laughs> oh no. Okay, this this will do. Okay, so right, that's oh, that's a one plus three is four. Okay. The right damage is two, so that's six. 
Mm-hmm. And then a one. So, oh man, there's only seven damage in the end. <laughs> but double. Yeah, combined with your combined with your first thingy, that was uh, yeah, that was a heck of a lot. Are you? Would you like to move? So I'm guessing you moved into melee range, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I should have said that, but yes. No, it's fine. You're, fine. <laughs> You're just like, oh, well, those are great rolls, but you didn't move into right into range. <laughs> you did nothing. Technically, you, you did nothing. <laughs> cool. Uh, Ina Ravenook, it is on you. What you like to do? Cool, cool, cool. So this bit of green shrubbery north of the cutthroat enforcer, can I hide in that? Uh, so it's more of a stone platform, which is around here. So you can yeah, yeah. climb up it. No, 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 but like just above that on the map, there's like some green shrubbery. Like... Yeah, absolutely. If you roll the stealth check high enough, I will. Like... Perfect. Okay, so I would like to move over in that direction. Cool. And so I... one, two, three. What's your movement speed? Is it 30? Uh, 30, yeah. Okay, so I'll put you there. Perfect. Um, I would like to take a shot at Ogre 1. With my shot bow. Okay. Uh, hang on. 50 feet range? Yeah, so like my lower number is 80, so that's fine. Yep, that's fine. FNH Paul, good to see you, my friend. So 22 hey, to hit. That definitely hits. Perfect. Uh, oh, wow, is... Lucy has appeared. Seven points of damage. Oh, I was just going to fuck. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're all good. Uh, to catch you up, we are in the heat of battle in the midst of a jungle. Ooh, exciting. Did, uh, did we get up? Wow. We got the jungle. <laughs> to be fair, like, I was going to comment that I do like the environment background. Pretty dope. <laughs> but I only say wow for snow areas. Oh, I see. My apologies, uh, bad girl. <laughs> should, should have done more. <laughs> so, seven points of damage. Then, Iona Revenue, yeah. would you like to roll some sn stealth attack? Or stealth I attack would damage? love. Uh, no, but I'm not hiding yet. Ah, that's a good point. Because I can only hide, sort of. Yeah, gotcha. I'm going to so, hide now. Okay. Oh, attempt to. Um, 31. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, That's you're cool. definitely you, you blend into the bush. You're, you're part you of the bush. Physically now. turn invisible. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Like in the Hunger Games when you like. Yeah, it is Peter from the Hunger Games, isn't it? It's like where is? Well, good. Uh, okay then. Uh, next up is Cut, and then the class enforcer is on deck. <sighs> okay, okay. So um... I, I've got to be honest. You you may have rolled a two for your initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can do I have to go up the stairs to the bottom, or can I? It, or is everything flat, or do I have to like jump up that hill? You may ridge? have to jump up there, but okay. I think with your monk prowess, you should be able to. Cool. So I want to get into melee with the enforcer. Sure, we can say that. That happens. And to yeah, I'm gonna go uh, sickle sickle. To sure, start. go for it. Um, 14 to hit. Uh, 14 misses, I'm afraid. Go again. Natural 20. Oh, Four. Squares 29 in total. <laughs> 29 in total. Well, that's awesome. Uh, um, okay, let's mark that down. I'll roll this with dice because I don't know if um, d, d Beyond will do it. So I'll, I'll roll... Sure. Double the number of dice, then add the bonus, right? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. Uh, that's uh, 19 plus 5. 24? Yeah, that works out. Cool. Um, Wait, that's the damage you did. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Finish ball in the chat. Big murder. <laughs> <laughs> cuck, 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 killing spree. And then I'm sure, um, 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 so yeah, I can use a key point to disengage. Sure. And just try and back up with the rest of the movements I have to try and get out of melee with him. Uh, okay. 
Uh, we can say that you can uh, jump down to say here. Cool. How does that set? That is all good with me. Cool. Uh, okay, so it is now the classroom forces turn. Uh, they're going to come chasing after you. <laughs> it's got to be said. So they uh, use their movement speed to leap down and join you here. Uh, they are then going to cast three Warhammer attacks with their multi-attack ability. Uh, so the first one, nat 20. Oh. Wow, man. that is mean. Oh, the no. second one is 17 to hit. Um, That's the same as my armor class, so that will so hit that just as well. Hits, yeah. mm -hmm. And then the sec the third one is an actual four, so ten. So I, I think that's going to miss. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so one d ten doubled. Oh, okay, so uh, 16, 17, 18, 19 points of damage for the first hit. Okay, okay. And then uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage for the second hit. And then, can I get you to make two wisdom saving throws, please? If I must. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, ten is the first. Okay. And sixteen is the second. So, uh, unfortunately, you are now considered frightened until the enforcer ends its next turn with its intimidating presence. Uh, oh, so no. uh, okay, okay. that's oh, a thing <laughs> and then oh, no. as the bonus action they're going to cast second wind and regain a few hit points back <laughs> what an a-hole I know right <laughs> How oh, big old meanie <laughs> <laughs> you're not very nice <laughs> a meanie panini <laughs> uh, well, so fr frightened on... I am yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Boris, my friend, it is on you. What would you like to do? And then Pavato is on deck. Yeah. Cool. I will move. Well, I'll move directly to the right a couple of squares to get in with the enforcer. Um, sure. I will. I would like to rage. Yeah, always good. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> I, and then I am going to reckless attack as well. <clears throat> Let's go, doggy dog. With my reckless loss. attack. Okay. Yeah. The first is an 18. Yep, that hits. Sixteen damage. Okay, nice. good to know. Nice. Ah, That's awesome actually. Yeah. Twenty-one to hit. That definitely hits. Well done. Uh and oh, wait, uh, not nine more damage. Cool. Good to know. And that is everything I'm doing. So now okay. things that attack me will have advantage. Sure. Uh, okay, but yeah, but you are resistant to that damage, aren't you? Because you are oh, yeah. raging. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Beans. Uh, Pavato, the Elven Ranger, it is now Zerko. Uh, let's see what they're going to do. All right. So... Pavato is going to cast Hunter's Mark on Ogre 2. Okay, good to know. Uh, he is then going to move into melee with Ogre 2. Sure is. And he is going to try and hit them with his short swords. Okay. Uh, just give me a second. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I believe he's got three attacks with his extra... Uh, oh, no. If he's no, casting Hunter's he Mark, then he doesn't. Yeah, sorry. Hunter's yeah. Mark, so he's just got the two attacks. Sure. So, hang on. So they're pretty uh, easy to hit. They're, they're quite, as you'd imagine, they're quite large creatures. <laughs> so they've got a lower AC. Uh, yeah, 14 to hit. That hits. Well done. Perfect. Uh, and then, what is it? 1d4. So that would be five points of damage for the first attack. Okay. 
and hang on, let me tally this up. Sure. Five, and then what is Hunter's mark? I don't remember where it is. It's okay. <laughs> I think it was either 1d4 or 1d6. 1d6, yeah. yeah. So then that would be another four. Okay, good sir. Uh, and then he will use his other sword. So. Uh, so that would be 21 to hit. That definitely hits. <laughs> so, is that? Uh, uh, so that's another 6 damage. And okay. then. Then I'll be Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark would make it plus 3. So that in total would be 5. Six. Awesome. So that's 18 points in total. Damn! Uh, nice. What is that? They're kicking ass. Okay, is there anything else they would like to do? Uh, no, I think that's everything he can do. All right, and so uh, it is now the turn of our ogres. So ogre number one, uh, who is in a melee range with uh, Mr. Bolt Reaver, mm -hmm. they are going to uh, swing with their great club at you. Uh, but with a natural two, they're going to miss. Uh, so oh. as the club swings round, you instinctively just duck and it goes right over your head. Uh, <laughs> it is now uh, the turn of the second ogre. They're going to try and swing at Pavato. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> uh, uh, 13 to hit. That misses. Oh, that also misses. <laughs> Same again. That's exactly what happened with his friend across the way. Uh, Sky the Bard. Uh, it is now on you. What would you like to do? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go for the tried. I don't feel like I need to move anywhere. Maybe I'll take a step back just because sure. I feel like the ogre's going to hit hard if it looks at me. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and then maybe go for a shatter on ogre two. Awesome. Is there a constitution save or anything that the ogre needs to make or the target? Oh, it says con 16. Does that mean anything? Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, I'll roll that. Oh. Uh, All right, cool. Uh, so a natural 17. So it succeeds its constitution saving throw. So it does what does it that take mean? half damage? So uh, it will say <laughs> in the description of the spell, uh, oh, like okay. on, a, on a failure, you'll take like full damage, but on a succeed, you will, uh, on a success, you'll either take like half or no damage. So what does it say? Uh, where can I find more of the information about the spell? So if you click on the name shatter, it will come up with a, uh, a side oh, panel okay. that flies in from the right. Uh, and talked about that lagoon water. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it's very fresh. <laughs> okay, so it says a creature takes the damage on a fa oh three d eight turn of damage on a fail. Wait, I clicked the right thing. Yeah, I have. Uh, on a failed set and half as much damage on a successful one. Cool. So roll your damage and then uh, we'll work out what half is. And okay. We, we always, uh, I think we tend to always round up on, on these things. Okay. 14. Okay. Great. So uh, we'll take seven points of damage then. Uh, cool. On Ogre number two. Great stuff. Thank you. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, mm, no, I just want to be aware. Sure. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I put alert. So as you're uh, splashing as you're as you're walking back, you're sensing that uh the uh the kind of level of the lagoon so uh, is kind of the same, so you're not likely to like fall in any sinkholes or anything like that. So Cool, cool, good to nice. Thank you, good thank you. My know. awareness as well. <laughs> Having such a uh -huh. crazy plot twist of like the lagoon water was rising. I actually thought he was about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, damn, so okay. The rivers start to run around. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay, Ogre number three turn. They are going to stay where they are, but they are going to launch their javelin, uh, which they're also equipped with at Neo. And oh no, Neo is squishy. No. With a. Eight to hit, that two is going to miss, so the javelin just Yay. goes splash into the water with a sploosh. Uh, so that is all good. Uh, top of the round, it is the one they call New Orkin. 
uh, who is at the level three spell slots. So what they're going to do is they're going to turn to their trusty crossbow because they want to save some slots for what might be coming up in future episodes. Uh, and they are going to fire with... Uh, they are going to fire at Ogre number one. Uh, so plus seven to hit with a 10. So 17, that definitely hits. So 1d8 plus three of damage. Uh, they roll a one, so four points of damage with that one. So uh, that's going to be their turn. Uh, four points on Ogre number one, so... Alrighty then. Uh, Mr. Bolt Reaver, it is on you, what would you like to do? Um, but firstly, I'd like to whisper into the wind for our DM to hydrate, because of the <laughs> hydration check. I so will do that. But then, in what probably very, like, this is wild, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with my glaive, <laughs> I've never of. done that before. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. If you're all well, no, that, actually, wait, wait, wait. Gonna... First, I'm gonna I'm gonna recast that that curse of of mark, that marking curse on it, so the I blood can curse. Um, yeah, the blood curse, and then I'm gonna attack on my glaive. Sure. Okay, we've got eighteen plus seven, so twenty five to hit. That definitely hits. That hits. So we got, okay, we got two plus three is five, mm -hmm. then right damage of three, so that's eight, and then roll it again, so two, so ten damage on that one. Okay, and then the second attack. It's a thirteen plus seven, so twenty. So yeah, it definitely hits. Okay, we got a oh, we got three plus three, so that's six. And then right damage of one is seven, and right damage again of two, so nine damage on that one. Awesome stuff. All right then. They are showing the signs of wear, so most of their height armor has actually come off them as you've been constantly slashing through it. Uh, so that is good to know. Ah, hiding in the bush. As one with the bush, as one would say. I know, Raven Oak, it is on you. Which All right, to. I'm going to try and take a sneaky shot at Ogre number one. Sure, go for it. 23 to hit. That definitely hits. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so that's 10 damage. Uh -huh. and then with my sneak attack another 11 points of damage so 21 points of damage they are done so well done yay <laughs> <laughs> okay is there uh would you like to roll a stealth check to go back into cover i would love to do that sure uh 23 definitely hit uh stealth <laughs> so no worries about that <laughs> definitely oh, stealth. good <laughs> uh the class enforcer it is their turn, and uh, they are going to try and attack uh, Boris with advantage, I believe. Yep. Uh, with their three strokes of their Warhammer. So, uh, what is that? 21 to hit. Yep. Uh, the second attack misses. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, the second attack definitely misses. <laughs> uh, and then a... 25 to hit for the third attack. So no point rolling any of those. <laughs> Not flexing at all. Uh, okay then. Get so, hydrated, son. I will. Yeah, I'm going to be drowning by the end of the summer, right? Uh, uh, okay, so uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage for the first attack. Cool. Uh, 13 points of blood for, for the third attack, because the second one missed. And then can I get you to make two wisdom saving throws, please? Um, yes. The first one is in 19. Okay. And... 15. Okay, so you just succeed on, uh, the second one, and obviously the first one succeeds as well, so you are not frightened, and uh, yeah, you are all good to carry on raging and doing many, many magical things. Uh, all good. Uh, speaking of magical things, Boris, it is on you. What would you like to do? 
has cut been yet? Uh, no, Again, they. She, sorry, no. Cut. Sorry, she uh, would... cut. We we skipped because they are frightened. Oh, oh. okay. Um, uh, I can so use my, well. I can use my action to end an effect. Yes, so you can you can do that with my That's stillness of mind. So can I okay. be like? You are unfrightened. I'm gonna be not scared. I'm not gonna be scared. Yes. I'm not afraid anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you do that. <laughs> Uh, cool. Good job, Boris. Uh, so, on your turn, what would you like to do? Um, I will um, reckless attack um, twice again on the that, sure. the, the same one. Uh, no, that's bad. Oh, I forgot to say the bonus action, but because I forgot to say it, I will not count it. So, yeah, carry on. You you no, no, it's all good. Okay, the first one is a 17 to hit. Uh, that hits, I believe. Yes, that hits. Cool. Through the half of the armor, it cuts. Uh, 15 damage. Nice. Oh, cool. Um, the second one is a uh, nat 20. Awesome. <laughs> Damn. Uh, nice. Yeah, d, d So d, d Beyond does automatically roll extra for, crit, for uh, yep. nat 20. Yeah. So oh, cool. either, either is good. Yeah. 40. How many, sorry? 14. 14. Awesome. Just Damn. Okay, they're heavy signs of wear. Uh, from the kind of waist down is, you can tell that the telltale signs of, of crimson ring down as they begin to bleed out. Uh, would you like to move anywhere? Or are you staying where you are? No, I'm going to stay around because I don't want the opportunity. Okay, good to know. Uh, Pavato, it is on them. All right, Pavato's going back in with his short swords. Okay. Against Ogre 2. Whoops. 12 to hit. Yep, that hits. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. The great hulking beast is over, so they're really easy to hit, yeah. All right. So I'll just tally everything up. And then... Sure. Whatever works for you. Uh, so it's eight plus Hunter's Mark. All right, and then that's, so it's nine for his first attack. Okay. Uh, and then he's gonna go again with his second short sword. Mm-hmm. Uh, 12 to hit. That just, well, it just doesn't hit that. Yeah, that hits. So it just doesn't okay. hit. Uh, that is all good. Words so that hit. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Five, oops. Five, four, nine. That hunter's mark is another two. So that's then 11 points of damage. Uh, he is then going to use his two weapon fighting for his bonus action and do a third hit. Sure. Uh, so 13 to hit. That hits. Perfect. Uh... Badra nods in approval. GG's, <laughs> 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 <Jeez, geez>, lad. <laughs> and then Hunter's Mark 6. So then that is 11 points. So what did I say? 9, 11. So in total, that would be. Nope, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, that in total would be 31 points of damage. Oh, damn. My so, God. Uh, that is more than enough to take them out. Well done. <laughs> GG. Nice. nice. Awesome stuff. Uh, would they like to move now they've taken uh, the Ogre? Uh, yeah, let's uh, move towards Oak number three. Sure. Uh, how long does Hunter's Mark last? One, two, three, and then we'll say he gets up to here. Perfect. So we'll need to move a bit in order to get up to them. Uh, yeah, that's fine, but I think 
because Ogre 2 went down before Hunter's Mark run out, he can move it on to Ogre 3. True. I'm not sure if that's a bonus action. Uh, I have. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, so then we can do that next, next turn. Yeah. Perfect. Alrighty then. Uh, so, Ogre 1 is Dunzo. Ogre 2 is also Dunzo. Sky, it is on you. What's that to do? <laughs> I'm going to try something different. What is it? So, the wow. Cast Enforcer, are they a humanoid? Uh, they are indeed a humanoid. A big one. Cool. All right. I'm going to do hold person on them, sure. uh, which will paralyze them if they don't pass the wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving Ooh. throw. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Is he wise enough? Uh, they rolled a nine. Okay, well, it's a 16. <laughs> well, they failed at Wisdom uh, Saving Throw then. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Then cool. Hell yeah. Ah. I, think it, I think it just happens. That's okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> I don't really know what happens now. It doesn't have a Paralysis button. Happens. So, Paralysis happens. Paralysis happens. <laughs> are, they, are they considered, is it like, a, does it say that it's fit to the grapple? Are they, okay. so I'm guessing it they're unable says, to move. Can yeah. No, so it says target must see the wizard save forever, blah, blah, blah. We paralyze for the duration. So the duration is up to one minute, concentration up to one minute. Uh, then it says at the end of its turn, the target can make another wisdom saving throw on success. The spell ends. If not, you know, it continues. Okay, on. good to know. Good oh, damn. Ha ha ha. Wow. So uh, with each of your with each of your turns, uh, it's simulated yeah. to be six seconds. So uh yeah we can we can uh, figure out how long that is going to be and factor all that in awesome stuff would you like to move at all um where am i again are you in the middle of the lagoon no i quite like chilling here I'm, I'm good thanks you know okay got waterproof boots on i'm happy <laughs> <laughs> thanks awesome stuff uh Alrighty then, so it is the turn of ogre number three uh they are going to roll up to bravado and swing with all their might with their uh, great club. Do, do, do. Oof, another natural 20. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no. What? Uh, okay, so 2d8 doubled and then add the thing. So 8, uh, 5, so 13, so 26 plus, so 30 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my uh, god. For that attack. <laughs> is he dead? No, he is still standing. Oh, yes. Good. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so his buddies might be toast, but he's still, <laughs> he's still swinging with all of his guns. <laughs> Alright, and uh, it is the turn of top of the round. New Ikin. Uh, they are going to take another uh, bolt. So I'm just marking down the bolts that they've used. Uh, and fire at, uh, would you like to fire at the class enforcer or the third ogre? Uh, the third ogre hasn't third been hit with anything ogre. Yet. Okay, good to know. Uh, natural eight plus a seven, so that's definitely going to hit. Well done. Uh, only, uh, oh, I say only, four points of damage. So making inroads. Good to know. Uh, they are probably going to stay where they are. Uh, Mr. Bolt Reaver, it is now on you. <clears throat> so, I'm going to use Misty Step as my bonus action to sure. teleport towards Ogre 3. Now, I believe, because okay. I think I can use it once per short rest, Two, which we did three. before this battle. Yeah. Did you? And then I'll use... Oh, yeah. Did you short rest before this battle? I thought we did. did isn't that what we did last week? No, I don't think so. So you uh, you used the, the Mr. Step in the first of the Basilisk fights, I believe. Then there yeah. was a second Basilisk fight where you tried to use it again, and I was like, nope, you've already used it. And there's been no short rest in between. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, then I can't do that then. So, uh, <laughs> okay. damn, I really thought we did take a short rest at some point, but oh well. Um, in that case, uh, I guess I will... You I'll could move, probably get move. within melee range of the class enforcer. I feel like the, the guys there have already got it covered, you know. Well, that's <laughs> like, that's like I mean, you could still there. make your way up to Yeah, Ogre I'll go up three. to... But I'll, don't I'll you also have a ranged three. weapon? Yeah, I've got sure a crossbow, do. but it's, yeah. it sucks. But yeah, I'll, I'll move as close as I can to Ogre 3 and use my crossbow. 
Okay, so we'll do one, two, three. Uh, sure, so you're within 20 feet of the ogre. So okay. you're fine to use your uh, crossbow at uh, right. zero disadvantage. I rolled 14 plus 4, 18 to hit. That hits, well done. And the dice, so I, I rolled so two guessing, damage. I'm guessing you would have, uh, so your your crimson right would have dropped from your glaive when you pulled out your No, I want to keep it, you... I want to keep it on my, oh, does it drop when it I, drops I thought it only, weapon. oh, are we saying that you cast your bonus action instead of missing I mean, step as Crimson we right can. Or... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But okay, right, let's do that then. All right, and then I'll stick it. Well, so instead of it being two damage, it's actually... It's two plus whatever it was. It's a one, so it's three damage. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Big numbers coming out of Badra today. Big numbers. There we go. <laughs> But by the end of the, the next turn, if they're still standing, kind of thing, you can definitely get up there and start wailing with your mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. wailing on with your glaive. Uh, Ariana, uh, it is on you. Cut your on deck. All right, I would like to take a sneaky shot at the enforcer. Sure, go for it. Perfect. It's a natural twenty. Oh, wow. hell yeah. Let's go. Oh my god, how many nat twenties have we had in this battle? <laughs> That's All awesome. right, so that is then seven plus my sneak damage, <coughs> which would be another 15 points. Oh my god, and then that gets doubled. 22? Uh, 15 plus seven, so yeah, 22 points of damage. Hell yeah, they are on the very last legs of life. Nice, uh, well and I done. would like to hide once more. <laughs> sure, stealth check. So, you. 24. Absolutely, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Just imagining that Homer, like, retreating into the bush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Uh, so, cut. it now turns to you. The class enforcer is staggering, all punch drunk from the damage that they've taken. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to try punch him to death. Sure. <laughs> just casual. Yeah, I'm just gonna maybe just punch him to death. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen but misses. I'm afraid. You swing again. But hang on, because he's paralyzed, doesn't hang on. get to roll with advantage. Ooh. Uh yes, you do. Cool. So the second time I rolled then was nineteen. So that definitely hits, and it considered a critical hit because you were within five feet of that creature. Oh, nice. Oh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> ooh. Crits all day long. Um, I'm going to use my dice again now because I sure. don't understand what's going on with the D&D Beyond. Mm -hmm. um, so it'd be 2d6 plus 4. So, uh, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11. 11. So you punch with such force that you go <laughs> through his form. And at the other side, your arm pokes out and you're holding his heart. <laughs> oh, no. Fatality. Fatality. Above <laughs> the things that they are done. They had two points of health left. <laughs> oh, man. It's a bit of overkill. Like, <laughs> who's scared now? Just lay <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm straight through him. Is there anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Um, maybe I'm slightly taken aback, the fact I'm holding his beating heart, yeah. and kind of grin. That's kind of all I'm going to do. Yeah, there you go. Just take, take that in. Just take it in. Awesome stuff. So, the class enforcer is done. Boris, it is now on you. What would you like to do? Cool. I will... Um... One second, I just want to double. No, no, you'll be fine. No worries. I think. Oh, no, no. Um, yeah. I was checking if Reckless Attack worked on range attacks, but it doesn't. So I'm going to move. I think I want to move slightly closer, and then I'm going to throw my javelin at. Sure. How throw. many feet would you like to move closer? Um, I want to get within 30 feet to throw. So. One, two. Three, four. You can definitely do that. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I'll do that then. Um, it's javelin time. 26 to hit. That definitely hits. <laughs> A little overkill going on <laughs> You guys uh, are ready to get this. Damage. Sorry, how many was that? Uh, seven damage. Okay, good to know. And then, because I can attack twice per action, sorry, I've never done this before with range attacks. That's fine. I think I could just throw my throw a second javelin. If you oh. if you're equipped with a second javelin, then yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've got I, I've got four on me. Then yeah, go for it. Action, so I think nice. sixteen to hit. That hits. Well done. Roll for damage. And eight. Good to know. Well done. Uh, okay, then. It is now the turn of uh, Pavato Pavati. So good they almost made him twice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what would they like to do? Uh, he would first like to move Hunter's Mark onto Ogre 3. Good to know. All right, and then he's going to try and slice him with his shot sure. swords. So... Uh, ten to hit. Ten misses, I'm afraid. Damn it! All right. Uh, second shot. Oh, well, that also misses. Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, feeling the confidence of the rest of the team uh, slaying enemies <laughs> left and right, uh, Pavato swings with a bit too much confidence, and uh, the ogres just trying to sidestep both of their their uh, sword strokes. Uh, all right, they're done. They're done. Uh, Sky the Bard. It's your turn. What do you have to do? Oh, okay. Let's. Um, hmm. Let's just go for Shatter, uh, which is again sixteen Constitution. Okay. So which? Oh, uh, hang on. Am I within sixty? Like oh, on the ogre. Left or one, uh, uh, I'm gonna yeah, do. Yeah, you're sixty feet. Cool. I'm, just I'm gonna do a fourth you've got level one. To do this. Yeah, sure. yeah, I should uh, do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I spread the shatter out. What spell slots do you have? Uh, well, I've got no, quite... shatters in all of mine, so I sort of spread no, no, it. I, I spread I out the that. damage level. <laughs> what uh, what am I supposed to be good. doing? No, no, no that's I fine. So for each okay. level of spells, you have a certain yeah. number of slots. So yeah, so you uh, press the little squares. Chain. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's fine. So long as you're doing that, that's all good. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't um, worry. I'll, I'll put on my squares. No, 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 that's all good then. Uh, fine, so Constitution. Uh, they rolled a uh, 19 plus 3, so uh, lots. <laughs> oh, damn, mine's 16. Okay, so they take half damage. Okay, let's roll the dice. 21? Uh, okay, great. So, yep. Oh, no, 11. Uh, 11, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. I can't <laughs> do math. Right, okay, cool. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Um, no, I'm just going to chill. Take up at a good spot. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Okay. Great stuff. You do that thing where you just paddle with your feet a bit and watch the, the, yeah. <laughs> the ripples. Come yeah, yeah. Just like, oh, nice what's the What's going on? Sky's just like lying on her back in the lagoon, just like floating <laughs> yeah. around. I'm pumping up a lilo. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Play, playing a liar. Yeah. So another great club attack is coming the way of Pavato from yeah. number three. With uh, 16 plus 6 to hit, so I'm guessing that hits. Yeah, that hits. Uh, 2d8 plus 4. Ah. So 8, 16, 17, 18, 19 points. No, sorry, 20 points of damage. Plus four. Yeah, Pavato is well dead at this point. <laughs> okay, so uh, Pavato yeah. takes a blow to the side of the temple and they slump into the water below, unconscious and uh, probably a little bit drowning in the next couple of seconds or so. <laughs> no. Uh, top of the round, Nyo is on them. Uh, seeing that things are a bit dire, they're actually going to use one of their spells this time around. Uh, with Pavato, so we click on the thing. They are going to, uh, they are going to cast Firebolt at the creature with a cantrip. Uh, with seventeen to hit, so that definitely hits, and it's two d ten of fire damage. 
So four plus eight. So uh, 12 points of fire damage. There we go. Nice. Uh, cool beans. Uh, so. Okay, good to know, Mr. Bolt Reaver, it is on you. What would you like to do? <laughs> Shocker, but I'm gonna <laughs> walk up to him and smack him in the face with my glaive. <laughs> okay. So. But have you cast Crimson right on your glaive? Well, <laughs> there you go. Yes, yeah, that, yeah good shout. Yeah, I'll do that, obviously. Uh huh. Um, right, 14 plus 7, 21 to hit. Yep. Uh, you got four plus, I think it's three, so seven. And then the right damage is a two. So nine points of damage. Okay, good to know. For the first and hit. Then, and then for yep. the second. We got a nine plus seven, so 16 to hit. That also hits. Well done. Well for damage. Oh, we got an eight. Plus three is 11, and then Crimson Right damage of four. So um, that's 15 total. Bad Bolt Reaver. Oh, yes. Oh, hell yes. How do you want to do this? <laughs> well, I grab the ogre by skull, and then I yeah. drown him in the lagoon and <laughs> shout at him, Get flushed! Oh, <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> and as you see the bubbles like go from his mouth and they just get uh, fewer and fewer in their quantity as uh, they're replaced with the water in his lungs, he drowns to death. Well done, everybody. Uh, so how are we rescuing Pavato with a spell Ooh, yeah, we should or do that. a potion? <laughs> yeah, he's got minus 13 health, so... Yeah. Oh. Um, I'll, I'll use a key point to do... Um... Physician's touch. No. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. One D. I want to say one D six. I can't okay. find it. Great. So, uh, you rush over there to to stabilize, and then uh, you heal them for as many points as you can. One D six plus three. Sure. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Great so stuff. It's stable. So, yeah, so they're back up and they're conscious and they have eight points of health. Nice. All good. Uh, would somebody like to do a little bit of investigating to do some lootings? Yes. Sky, you usually... I think Sky is pretty good at that. <laughs> Maybe no one yeah. does. I can, I can I do the investigations. I'll, sure. I'll, I'm, I'm just packing up my Lilo, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, investigations, get my hands in the water. Oh, 15. It's a bit murky, the okay. water. Let, let's do it with advantage, because I'm guessing you've got some help. <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh. I'm helping. There you oh, go. Oh, thank you. Yes. Do I need to oppress something? <laughs> oh, no, just, just roll, roll it again. again. Oh, yeah. I see. That's what you mean. I'm just like, blink, blink. <laughs> oh, so advantage. Roll it twice and take the higher of the two numbers. Oh, 21. There we go. So, uh... As you loot through the, the three bodies of the ogres in the classroom four, so you retrieve 12 copper pieces. Wait, wait, wait. Cool. Mr. Treasurer, ek minute, ek minute. <laughs> 12 copper. 69 silver pieces. Nice. 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 <laughs> 46 gold pieces. Good, good. And a gold. Uh, coin, 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 coin. Go! Hey. Looking cool, Joker. There you go. <laughs> So, also, before I forget, could I collect my javelins back? Yes, you can. So, uh, for any ammunition that you've fired, you retrieve half of those back, and then uh, any uh, melee weapons like javelins and stuff, you can retrieve all of those back. Cool. So, that is all good. Uh, so, we will say that... Uh, you, uh, once you take the coin and you're transported back to the Athenaeum, uh, placing the coin in the slot, the door leading out of this jungle theme room opens and you're able to move further along into the fourth hall of the Athenaeum. And nice. that, everybody, is where we're going to leave it for today because I think that was a fun old time with a good old battle and a riddle that you solved far too easily. So I'm going to go <laughs> tweak that difficulty. He's going to make it <laughs> harder next, next week. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 
damn it. I'm moving just, up to crushing. I'm the hula hoop's not going to be here. <laughs> oh. oh, actually, I also won't be here next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will figure things out. So, in that grand old tradition, let's find someone to raid. So, if there's any suggestions in the chat, then uh, we will uh, do the thing. FNH uh, Paul is live. From Rebella, Despawn. Oh, D -spawn. FNH Paul is uh, on. So, why don't we raid them? I think that'll be yeah. nice to do. I, I was looking through my list and I was just like, oh, someone's doing DD. &D. Oh, wait, it's Vic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so, raid FNH Paul. Cool beans. Uh, yeah, so that's ready to go. So we will be back uh, next Sunday for more uh, D and D on Twitch.tv slash Fist Patel. So yes, be well, be merry, and yeah, we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>